Let's see. Yeah, I don't have a castle's belly. That's the only reason why I can't declare war on Savo. Savo is the next one usually. That seems to be pretty bad. Or like pretty easy to conquer. Yeah, let's go hunting. 50% chance of a good one, 50% chance of a bad man. Bad one, and Marshall plus one. We started early, the sun had barely risen above the horizon. There was plenty of prey, the ducks caught many rabbits, and I slew one great boar before he killed my horse. Perfect. What a great day. And my Marshall rose to ten. I am pretty good at wars. But I see, look, this Vidyat army has like a thousand people already. And they're they're using it liberally to to unify Sweden. That's ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> so Hapa is a bit ill right now. Oh, I missed the cat hunt. Needs to be before November and it's sixth of November. So yeah. These are like decisions that I can make that change, like give me some kinds of bonuses immediately. It's a complicated game. This might seem like weird to begin with, but we shall see. Oh my god, there's three, two, two watchers in addition to me. What, what's going on? All right, it's another year. We can actually hold the Ukwon Yuhla festival. Well, it doesn't really. There's no use to it because the only thing it does is increase my vassals' opinion on me. And they don't really do anything at the moment. I'm not a high enough lord to have worthwhile vassals. Yes, Vidyat is unifying Sweden really quickly, and that is dangerous. They have a lot of cast spells to begin with. The conquests for the conquest of nearby uh, other Swedish areas. So that's really annoying. Alright, I think I'm gonna go for Savo next. Savonia. Yeah. Let's see my maximum arm levy size now. 745, yeah. That is really good. And Sigurd the Ring kind of likes me. That's good. Let's have. Uh, let's send someone to fabricate claims just in case. They were they were fast enough for me to get the to get the new thing to get the war before I can cancel my ambition to have a daughter. Doesn't look like we're actually having daughters. It doesn't look like we're actually gonna have... Oh, I'm lustful. I should be having a lot of... A lot of chances to get... A lot of chances to get daughters. Anyway, my... On the 30th of March, I can declare war on this Kuala Nirmima. Oh. It seems like the original lord already died, and Mohku really doesn't have a lot of power here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna use the subjugation of Finland as his belly with the ambition very liberally here. So become king of Finland is my ambition now. It cannot be cancelled. And I just need to beat everyone. We're starting with Ola. Kantalahti isn't destroying this battle, so I can just move straight to... Oh, they are. 
Let's see. 11th of June, 24th of June. I need to stop this for a while. We start the move. 20th. It's close enough. So it's four days with pretty much equal numbers, and then I have double double the manpower in the end. So that's good. I am gonna finish this uh, siege first because that's probably the fastest way to winning the war. Yep. They are in Kemi right now, trying to siege it, but I think I'm gonna have to drive them out from there. It doesn't... not enough that I just go straight to Kola and, and finish the war. That way I need to beat them up a bit first. Yep, that was an easy battle. And I get one more... oh! They're done already. And in force demands, I get some piety, some prestige. The opposing chief loses piety, and I gain the high chiefdom of Kola, and I vassalize Mohku within the kingdom of Finland. Or take his titles. Like that, and now I change to Kola myself, because that's the highest, highest uh, title I hold. But now that means I also that I have two vassals and that's not really all that good. I'm actually I have plenty of domain size. Why do I have only three? Alright, I should have already gone to wait. Medium is, is a good tribal organization actually. Yeah. I don't have any city city vessels yet, but I'm gonna raise that anyway. Why do I have that such a Yeah, I'm gonna revoke title from this kid here. First, okay, it just took a time, took a while. So now that I revoked the title, he calls his arms. But since he's got no no army whatsoever, I should be able to take it by force. There's like two cities in. No, just one city in. No, there's no cities, just temples. In all of Finland, so. That's not good. Yep. And I have Kantalahti now. And that kid is imprisoned. gonna banish him, all his titles will be confiscated and that's it, and also his money, like that, and I will also revoke the title from Mohko himself, so that I won't have any, so that I won't have any vassals at the moment. As expected, he didn't like it. So here we go. I'm gonna wait in Kantalahti to gather up my forces a bit more. All right. So Kolli of Raivola wants to be my wants to be my uh, court chaplain, and it seems like he's a better chaplain than my my current one. So. I let him be that the chaplain. 
no problem at all. All right, and now I, that I have my armies gathered up, let's move to squash the revolt. That's so revolting. Like, the fens are so revolting here. And this makes it so that my maximum levy is like much higher than Karelians, Karelius. And this will also put me at my domain cap, which is really good to be at because that will allow me to defend and pull more armies that I control personally. Yeah, there's no reason to actually change any laws for now. Eventually, centralization laws are good, but... Strike Ransom. Oh. Ransom the kid. Let's get all... Oh, I'm anyway I'm gonna banish him so I'm gonna get the all the all the gold anyway. So let's make peace. And the revolting person is is uh, imprisoned now. And let's banish him as well and I get all the gold. And titles. No, just titles. He doesn't have any gold. Okay. Seems. Okay. And now I have a pre like sizable army with 1,700 already myself. So now I just need to wait a bit for the uh, current levy. Get up there. So I can either take. Well, I don't have to wait anything. Savo is not. Savo is not a difficult fight anyway. But I would have to actually. I'll have to actually. I, I'm at my max domain already. So I'll have to wait until I have another high chiefdom under my belt to actually vassalize people. I think I'm gonna vassalize this. These. Well. Anybody who's, who's who likes me, to be honest. How's your army size now? You're at 702. Currently 702. I'm at... I'm at 708 currently. That's a bit close. 3066. So... Yeah, I can pick if I want to become proud or proud, because it gives me prestige and I really need some prestige to start the game with, to build stuff. Anyway, let's go after Savo. It doesn't matter to be over the main limit that, that little that early. And I'll probably get... Finally, my wife is pregnant. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Swedes are just unifying the country so badly. And I will have to defend against that soon, and that's gonna be so difficult. Except that I will have my 500 prestige most likely before that and that's gonna help a lot because that will give me I have this button here that gives me 2500 soldiers immediately and defense against foreigners we get uh, Finns get bonus bonuses to that early 
plus there's this nice straight that I can defend if I can make it to the straight in time. <laughs> 